So hello guys welcome back to the channel in this video we'll cover this amazing lab so simply click on start lab and open the looker incognito window and if you are completely new to this channel do like the video and subscribe the channel also hype the video now here you have to enter all the details from the lab instructions so just copy it one by one and please follow the video carefully because if you miss a single step you won't be able to get the score now just click on login and the first step what we'll be doing is the activation of development mode so just stay tuned here you can see at the bottom development mode is here you have to click on it because if you don't enable this you won't be able to modify the files here we have to modify each file one by one so once you click on it the page will reload itself and you can clearly see the development mode is live now the next thing you have to come to the develop and click on quick labs flight now here we have to modify the files so just stay tuned and follow as i am doing now from here click on this general flights and fa model we have to add a file okay just double click over here you can see it's open scroll down to the bottom hit enter multiple times in the description box i've shared this repository you have to select it one by one and follow as i'm doing save it validate lookml and here we have to commit a message okay we have to commit a message for that you can type anything i'm typing subscribe to the channel you can type anything there is not an issue commit and after that you have to click on deploy to production once it is done we have to open the looker in a new tab and then perform some of the steps so please follow step by step and carefully if you feel the video is a little bit fast then just decrease the speed now come to the explore page over here and then just come to the lab instruction and let's see what we have to do we have to come to the task number one and we have to use airport data set okay so from here only just select the airports from here now from here just click on start from here and please follow the video carefully here we have to make some changes and first thing wait for the query to fully complete and then we'll move forward to the next step now wait for the output to get generated after that we'll be updating the row limit and then visualization to the table so just stay tuned as i am doing so that you don't make any mistake so let's come over here and then just in the row limit it might be different it might be 7 9 10 anything you have to check the lab instruction you can see the highlighted part from here look number one i'm talking about it okay now for the look name first of all we have to update the row limit then visualization to table you have to click on it and then we have to save the visualization for the visualization name first of all we need to run it and then we'll be saving it so once this is done you can see here okay you can see the output is similar then you have to click on the gear icon first of all run it okay first of all run it then save it so finally you can see the output is similar now we have to just copy the title from here click on this gear icon save save as a look paste the name over here and simply save it so just save it once you have saved it you are done with look number one now we have to move to the look number two so just come over here and again github repo look to copy it carefully replace it from here to here okay carefully replace it then again repeat the same process of the save validate and commit you can type any message now once you have committed deploy it and then again open the looker on a new tab so just open it now from here okay now from here please pay attention you have to open the airports again it will take some time you'll see option start from here click on it now come to the lab instruction and we don't have to do task number two we are in the look two, so do not confuse over here so in the look two, you can clearly see what we have to do so just come over here update the row limit as per the lab instruction okay it might be different for you i'm repeating it again and again now from here you have to make a pivot click on the settings icon click on this pivot 
from here you have to just click on it once it is ascending port order it's done and in the report count you can see the down arrow the skin color type of it's showing just next to the airport state you can see there airport count it's in descending order as per the lab instruction we don't have to change anything over there now once this is done all things are correct okay you can clearly see i'm repeating it again so that you are unable to make any mistake now it's in descending order you can clearly see as per the lab instruction it's descending order now just run it we have updated the row limit also make sure to update it and the visualization is stable already now once this is done you can see clearly it's completely done now we have to save the visualization so copy the name from here click on this save save as a look enter the name and just save it so you have clearly saved it without any issue now close this page and then again come to the third model copy it and simply replace the content save it i hope how i am replacing you are knowing just by using control v control a to uh, control a you cannot use because it will be selecting all the things okay you have to just drag your mouse cursor and select the part where i have used the faa model now just simply add the commit and just deploy the production just i am replacing just watch the video you won't face any issue once it is updated now here we have to do some manual steps so stay tuned just open the looker and from here okay here please follow carefully simply click on explore and then you have to click on the flights option as per the lab instruction so just click on it okay you have to click on the flights option okay from there once you click on the flight option you have to click on start from here i repeat you have to click on the flight option instead of airport this time so just click on it now once you have done this it will look like this and from here we have to make some modifications so just first of all we have to add the table over here and you can see that we have to add a filter also that is of greater than 10,000 flights so all things will be done just stay tuned carefully first of all click on the settings icon over here click on add a filter and the filter it's added above you have to just come above and just set a filter greater than 10,000 so just select from this drop down and just select greater than just click on greater than and from here just select 10,000 okay just select 10,000 once it is done you have to just carefully update all the values now simply copy the formula and click on add then click on cost table calculation sorry table calculation paste the expression over here carefully paste it and now for the percentage we have to just use percentage up to three so just copy it like this and many of you may make mistake like you'll copy the entire content so you don't have to copy entire content like many of you first of all let me update the percentage over here it's three okay so just update up to three decimal and for the name many of you may make mistake i'm getting these kind of comments you'll copy entire content like this but we don't have to copy it like this we have to only copy percentage of flights cancelled we have to copy only percentage of flights cancelled let me show you you have to copy this name not entire content so just update it carefully and once you have updated it you have to simply save it so just do it like this and just follow as i am doing once it is saved it is clearly done from this part now simply first of all update it to table and then you have to run it so just run it carefully and cross verify the lab instruction if they are saying for row limits okay as there is no mention so we haven't updated it now we'll come to the task number four so task number four not look number four this is little bit manual so we'll be doing it so let's come over here and do it together
now you are seeing this percentage flight cancelled you have to just click on it once and it's descending order you can clearly see from the lab instructions now you can just come to the lab instruction cross verify everything here you can see that we have to just save it as a look for the name come above this is number three only we are doing task number three only so just copy the name carefully and just save it and once you have done it okay so we have clearly saved it now just open on a new tab and this is a little bit manual step please follow each and every step carefully and then come to the explore option again you have to open the flights and from here we'll be doing the manual step you do not click on the start from here so just come over here and from here we have to just add two columns name origin and destination and the second one is average distance miles so from here just paste it click on it similarly copy it and this one we have to create a custom measure okay for that you won't be able to find it so click on add and here in the add option you are seeing carefully that custom measure option is there you have to click on it now paste the name over here which we just now copied so carefully paste it okay you have to carefully paste it and for the field average distance click on it these two things are done now we have to just check all the things are correct we have to just save it now here you can see row limit is there so as per the lab instruction i am updating it you need to update as per your lab instruction like if it is showing 8 you have to add 8 if it is showing 9 you have to add 9 once you have saved and updated the row limit okay then the next step is that we'll have to just come over here and add a filter so how will be adding filter so let me show you first of all how to add a filter click on this settings icon from here click on filter scroll above and from here just select from the drop down we have to select the filter which is mentioned greater than zero so we have to select filter is greater than and in the value just type zero we have done with this to all task now we have to just okay so just click on it once let me show you click on this once now it is descending now it is ascending we have to make it ascending once the arrow shows up that means it is ascending order now once it is done we have to run it and then simply save as a look so just follow and first of all update the visualization and for the skill badges other arcade games you can check the playlist also now here just come over here okay now just copy the name carefully and you have to just save the look make sure there is no extra space or dot over here so from here click on this gear icon save save as a look paste the name over here and simply save it now it is completely saved over here now simply check the score if you have followed the way i have done you will get the score and if you are not getting the score retry again or restart the lab for better it's very easy lab there is no issue now task 2 and now task 3 are the most easiest task close it from here and just come to the looker page and carefully you have to just open it on a new tab and then you have to just make some changes over here so just come over here come to the explore tab and from here we have to select flights okay just select the flights option and from here we have to add a city state and code and you have to just type it and you have to select aircraft origin okay aircraft origin apart from this you don't have to select anything first of all select city then state and then code so just type it also you can just type or paste directly so just follow along with me and then just update the code okay now many of you might may find some tutorial shorter than this okay you have to click on it and then we have to add a flight count over here why because chance they are not adding any voice and they are just increasing the speed even i can also make this lab tutorial even within four minutes but it won't help you to complete the lab because this is a like tricky lab so that's why i'm making it now update the row limit to 10 once all these things are done we have to just add flight count over here okay this time we'll be selecting flights 
so you can see here instead of airport we are selecting flights sorry aircraft click on this count you can see it is added all the things are carefully added including the flight count and the row limit after that we have to simply run it and we have to update the visualization to table so do it as soon as possible and after that we'll be merging the result you can see we have got the output okay there is no issue if you don't select table also you can just directly merge it come over here we selected flights that time now we'll be selecting airports this time so you have to click on the airports and let's move to the next step we have to again add all the things which we have added in the flights and then we'll be merging the results so just stay tuned and follow till the end so from here just click on this airports it will take some time now finally it's open now here we have to repeat the same steps okay now here many of you may make mistake while saving it so just stay tuned first of all copy each and everything one by one just type city code all things are done update the role limit and once this is done you have to just run it okay you have to just run it once you see the output you can clearly see the output has been generated now after that we'll be merging the results so just save it first of all and after that we have to just click on this run button again for the merge results to be generated okay once it is successfully generated come to the visualization and from here just select the bar chart check it chicago same as the lab instruction do not worry about the color now let's save it save save to dashboard new dashboard paste the name the name is available on the lab instruction okay you can see the dashboard name is here also or on the lab instruction also now copy the look title paste it over here and just save it to the dashboard carefully copy the name the name is the most important thing in this lab you have to make it correct okay so this is also done now task 3 is very easy we have to add to the dashboard so just open the looker now simply click on the my folder and you have you can see all these look just open on a new tab and then simply add to dashboard i'll show you how you have to do it just open it one by one and from here you'll be able to see the add to dashboard carefully click on add to dashboard shared and just select it like this and save to dashboard similarly come to the second look okay wait for it to open again add to dashboard shared and just select the dashboard which you created you have to repeat all this for the all four and if you are not getting the score come back again and try to add it again and simply check the score so just add it one by one okay if you are not getting the score just add it one by one okay refresh it and repeat the step now simply come to the lab instruction and check the score and that's the way we have to complete the lab if you have any query you can let me in the comment section do like the video and subscribe the channel thank you guys have a great day